Dawa is deception. One of the ways to see how deceptive Dawa Gandists are is to find a recent convert to Islam and ask him what he's been told about Islam. Hatun Tash just did this at Speaker's Corner. A new convert to Islam was apparently amused by the Dawa gang heckling Hatun, so Hatun asked him what he thought about Muhammad's relationship with Aisha. Watch how he responds. Yeah, but from what I have, is that, um, so you're talking about Aisha, yeah? Like, basically, I heard, because I don't know, but honestly, I don't know. So you are Muslim and you don't know? Yeah, but I don't know about the historical truth, necessarily. Yeah? Uh, I don't know, I don't think she's even mentioned in the Quran. Yeah? But I heard that uh, her age being that low, it only comes from one book. But there's like hundreds of other books that say I'm that she's much older. I am sorry that you've been lied to. Did you catch that? He's heard that the story about Aisha being a little girl only comes from one book, but that there are hundreds of other books that say she was much older. I heard that uh, her age being that low, it only comes from one book, but there's like hundreds of other books that say I'm that she was sorry, much older. I am sorry that you've been lied to. Where, oh where, could he have possibly heard that? That's what the Dawagandists told him so that he wouldn't be concerned about Muhammad's relationship with Aisha. And as Hatun pointed out, what he was told was a total lie. Muhammad marrying Aisha when she was six or seven and having sex with her when she was nine is found in dozens of hadiths, and there isn't any hadith that says she was much older. So the Dawagandists who convinced this young man to convert to Islam lied to him. But after Hatun exposes the lie about the sources, our young Muslim friend shares another response that he's heard. Aisha herself tells us she was six years old when she was given to Muhammad as a no, wife. No. Muhammad had sex with her when no. she was nine years old. No, no. And your prophet had a sex with her. There's also people, yeah, there's people who say that she was lying. Sorry? There's, there's Muslims who say that she was lying, actually. Aisha was lying as a mother of the believers. I don't know, but that's what they say. Did you see the older Muslim yelling no as Hatun was stating basic facts about Muhammad and Aisha? Aisha herself tells us she was six years old when she was given to Muhammad as a no, wife. No. Muhammad had sex with her when no. she was nine years old. No, no. Notice, everything Hatun said comes directly from Islam's most trusted sources, and this man was yelling no the entire time. Why? because there's a recent convert to Islam standing there. The recent convert to Islam doesn't know whom to believe. So if Hatun is saying one thing, but Muslims are calling her a liar, the recent convert to Islam won't know who's right and who's lying. But we know who's lying, don't we? Then we had the other response from the young Muslim, namely that Aisha may have been lying about her age. It's much more common for Dawagandists to say that Aisha just didn't know how old she was, and so she made a mistake. Then you have Shabir Ali, who claims that Aisha was deliberately exaggerating how young she was. But at the end of the day, when the Dawagandists are trying to convince someone to convert to Islam, they'll make up anything to win their convert and get a new notch on their Dawa belt. So this guy just doesn't know that it's a historical fact that Muhammad had sex with a little girl. But Hatun asks him, hypothetically, if he would have a problem with his prophet having sex with a child. Pay attention to the older Muslim trying to distract everyone. She doesn't would know you have a books. problem Forget if your prophet, no. since you are Muslim, had sex Christian. with a child? You're not Christian. She's not Christian. You are not Muslim. I am a Muslim. No, so, but would you have not. a problem if your prophet had a sex with a child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have a problem? Yes. Exactly the same here. Exactly the same here. What kind of problem exactly would you have? Exactly the same here. That's immoral. You know, it's but, immoral, but it's 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 immoral, immoral it? if yeah. your prophet had sex with a child. So he admitted that if Muhammad had sex with a child, he would have a problem with it because having sex with a child would be immoral. It would be a problem if your prophet had a sex with a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have a problem. Yes. Exactly the same here. Exactly the same here. What kind of problem? Exactly you would the have? same here. That's immoral. You know, 
It's but, immoral. But, 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 it's yeah. immoral yeah. if yeah. your prophet had sex with a child. Now do you see why the Dawagandists lie to him? He believes it's immoral for a grown man to have sex with a child. He wouldn't believe in Muhammad if he knew that Muhammad had sex with a child. So the Dawagandists lie to him, and they tell him that the story about Aisha being young is only found in one source, and that there are hundreds of sources that say she was much older. And besides that, how do we know Aisha wasn't lying? They lie to get him to convert. How do people trust these guys? If they're lying to you about Aisha, what else are they lying about? Don't they realize that this young man may eventually read some Muslim sources and realize that they're lying? What's the strategy here? The strategy is to win a convert at any cost, no matter how many lies you have to tell him. Get him to convert, and then begin to condition him. Over time, you can condition him to never question anything Muhammad did, and to mindlessly praise Muhammad, no matter what. And after a few years of this, if he finds out that Muhammad had sex with a little girl, he'll no longer have a problem with it. Because by that time, Muhammad will be the standard of morality. It obviously can't be wrong for Muhammad to have sex with a child when Muhammad is the standard of morality. That's the strategy. Lie to the new recruits until you've had time to brainwash them. What the Dawagandists didn't count on was the young Muslim finding out the truth from Hatun before they've had a chance to brainwash him. They messed up. It's Cult Tactics 101 to keep a new convert away from all non-cult influences until you've had a chance to brainwash him. It seems like the avalanche of apostasy is making these guys desperate and sloppy. If you want to watch the full video on the DCCI Ministries channel, the link is in the description box. There are also links to my full debate on Muhammad and Aisha and to a video showing Muhammad Hijab admitting that the Quran allows sex with prepubescent girls. Pretty disgusting, but that's Dawah. This is a power of religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah?